unmotivated to get up and go to the gym or Pilates. Oh my God, can you see that? From my sheets on my face. <sighs> oh my God. Anyways, if you don't already know, I just woke up like five minutes ago. It's actually Tuesday today, it's not Monday. Um, yesterday I didn't vlog. I just spent time with the fam. So I just thought I would, yeah, I just didn't really feel the need to vlog, to be honest, yesterday. Um, plus I didn't really take my vlog camera with me. So I was like, you know what, I'm just going to start this vlog on Tuesday. Um, so yeah, I tried the heatless curls with my silk robe. Um... So let's see how they turned out. These were definitely a lot more comfortable to sleep in. Like, I couldn't even really feel them because it's so thin. Mm. I feel like the curls using the leggings were a lot better. Like, this just kind of feels like I used my wave wand. And they're not really, like, complete curls. Because it's just so thin. I might try, because I just ordered a robe off Jerf Avenue, and I'm so excited for it because it's always sold out. I might use that um, robe string when that comes. Oh, I feel like this side looks better. Yeah, anyways, as I was saying, oh my god, my motivation to get up early is, I don't know what's happened. I feel like it's because my sleeping pattern is just out of whack. Like we're going to bed, like we're having dinner so late and going to bed at like 12 when usually I'm in bed by like 10, 9.30, 10. No, not 9.30, more like 10. And then like I give like an hour to just like relax, talk and go on my phone. Whereas like we go into bed at 12. So we still are on our phones. Uh, it's just really bad. But it's just hard to like, it's hard to break that cycle. And yeah, getting up like before 7.30 is just so hard right now. Like it's 7.30 now. I woke up, actually I woke up at seven. No, I woke up at like 6.45 because I was gonna go to Pilates, but I just ended up, um, just staying in bed on my phone but yeah it's just been really hard to get up so I need to do something about that because <laughs> I just feel like shit when I don't like start the day moving like I just feel so tired by lunchtime I really hate my curls <laughs> actually got so many packages <laughs> yesterday like I literally I think I got like 10 packages they like all arrived at once I got my skims order I got my cotton on order um, I also have my shopping that I got on Sunday. So I went to Supre, Glassons and Cotton On. So I'll show you guys what I got from there. I got some really good, um, just like basic pieces that I can wear with pretty much everything in my wardrobe. Got lots of maxi skirts, which I don't normally wear. I really want a denim one, but I haven't been able to find one that I liked. I did try one on in Cotton On. On Sunday but it just didn't fit right um, what else did I get I got Princess Polly I got yeah I got a whole bunch of parcels like literally I picked up 10 yesterday um, so I'll show you guys that at some point this week um, but yeah that's it I just wanted to jump on oh my god I still have marks on my forehead from my sheets and my pillow yeah, I just wanted to jump on and say hi. And yeah, I will chat to you guys a bit later when I'm feeling a bit more alive. Holy hell, it is so hot today. I just had the nicest walk. I went and did my little trail, as you saw. And I had to get an acai bowl. And I realized I haven't had an acai bowl for like, three weeks at least. Now I'm gonna go to the post office. I've got some stuff to film. 
today as well. Crank the aircon, it's fucking hot. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Probably need to go to the warehouse at some point today to drop off some stuff for tomorrow. Um, but yeah, that's the plans for today. And that is all. Thought I'd show you guys some deliveries that I picked up this morning. This one's from Sarah Humphreys Agency. Basically just saying Merry Christmas. And look at all these goodies. Oh my God, glass house. Room spray. St. Tropez tan. Some socks. I'm guessing like these are all the brands that they work with. Fudge. Some more tan. Ooh, Leno lips. I'll be definitely putting some of this stuff in the weekly giveaways. Oh, what's this? A perfume. I've never tried their perfumes before. And then a cute little tote bag. Thank you so much. And then I also got a package from Javiana's, which is so random. But they reached out and they were like, we'd love to send you a pair of Javis from their new collection. Let's have a look. Oh my God. I feel like I haven't worn thongs in the longest time because I'm such a slides person, but they are so cute. So I'm in the warehouse now and I can't believe I didn't show you guys Liv's present. Oh, I'm literally wrapping it up as we speak. Um, so basically I, we're going to the Tropic for our little like Christmas party, even though it's just us two, uh, for like a late lunch, early dinner at five o'clock. I also made her a personalized necklace with her name on it. Um, I was trying to get out of her if she would like a little O or I didn't actually really mention if she'd like her name, but she was, I don't know. She just didn't really like the O. I don't know. She was like, I probably wouldn't wear it. O is a bit funny. Um, which personally I love letter necklaces. Like you may see a new drop coming soon. It's actually not this exact necklace. Um, I did end up changing the design slightly. So they will be online this week. Yeah, this week, or they're probably already online by the time you're watching this. So yeah. Um, anyway, so I made her like a mini personalized necklace. I will leave the um, photo on the screen because I did take a photo. Literally a mini version of our personalized 9K necklaces. I will put them up on the same tab as personalized necklaces, but I'll have the option for a, like a plain single little letter or a full name in the same size. Um, so that'll be on the website, but yeah, I just wrote her a little note. I'm going to put that on the Prezi and give that to her this afternoon when I see her. Oh my God, the flash sale, you guys. I couldn't believe it. Like I was like, surely people are doing something. They're at work. They're not gonna see the email. And there was like literally hundreds of you guys on the website. So I'm telling you, it pays to be on our mailing list. Otherwise you wouldn't have known about the 50% off flash sale. Anyways, I'm going to film a TikTok and then I'll show you guys all the pieces that I've gotten over the past couple of days from the shops and online because I got a big order as well yesterday, including this skirt from, is it Supra? Yeah, Supra. Thought it was from Cotton On. How cute is it? I'm obsessed. And then this is also from Supra. Okay, I just went through my parcels. If you do want to see them tried on, I did do a TikTok that I'm about to post. So if you want to see what they look like on, but I'm just going to go through everything really quick for those that don't care about TikTok or don't have TikTok. So I've got two more of my favorite. I'm actually literally wearing the white one now. So I got the white and the gray. These are from Supre and I get them in a size small. I'm going to try to be quick. Then I got this like cami, like lace trim, Singler. Um, this one's from Cotton On. Um, I purchased most of this in their Black Friday sale and then when we went on Sunday, I did purchase a few other things. This I got during the Black Friday sale. So the white pants that I always, always wear, literally every single time I'm wearing white linen pants, they're from Cotton On. However, they did change the design. So this one has a shorter or like a thinner 
drawstring whereas the ones that i wear are thick like the skirt that i'm wearing but anyways these are like their new ones so i ended up getting another pair of them because i just feel like i'm just going to be living in them especially when on holidays this was literally five dollars it's honestly like fits everybody vibes from skims so don't know if they still have them and then i've got one of these but it is so old and discolored so i just grabbed another one i need to do a tiktok on this so i bought this freaking amazon top it's like new year's eve um outfit vibes i feel like i need to show you guys on with like the outfit that i'm planning on wearing with it i do have a bralette so i i mean i probably could i could i could wear it with a skirt but i feel like I'd want to try it the same way she styled it. I think she styled it with some leggings, like black leggings, this sheer top, and then a um, bandeau. I'm going to have to try and find the video, but oh my god, like I literally haven't bought something so fast from a TikTok in my life. So yes, I bought it from Amazon, and I honestly didn't have high hopes that it was going to come in time, because you know Amazon, like they can take up to freaking a month. Oh, I just got another size um, of this jagger and stone dress which i actually might wear to the tropic today or am i going a bit more low-key i just don't want to look too full on like this is very dressy it's so nice it's like cutouts here but i exchanged the size 12 for a size 10 because it was just wasn't really doing anything for me it was like too loose um but that size is so much better then i got some more shorts so i got them in white and black they're from cotton on then oh yeah skims okay so my skims order that i placed um during their biannual sale i was saying on my tiktok not gonna lie it wasn't like that great like most of the stuff that was like heavily discounted was like colored stuff like funny fluoro sort of colors um they didn't have many like blacks whites or like you know neutral colors that were included in the sale um but these surprisingly were so these are the sculpt bike pants um i ended up getting the size four to five xl because i hate everything tight i've got the medium to large and it i just feel like i can't breathe like it's so uncomfortable especially when i'm sitting down like that's all i'm thinking about is like my stomach and i don't like i don't care to look like two sizes smaller like i don't care about that it's more just like smoothing and it just looks a little bit better when everything's like sort of all I don't know all the same like i don't really care about being like snatched as much so yeah i got the four to five xl and it fits so nice it's still definitely supportive it just doesn't like obviously suck me in a lot which is what i wasn't looking for anyway so i got that 40 bucks this is them seamless solution wear if you want to like screenshot that oh yeah there we go up the top thought i got extra small for a minute and no it definitely does say four to five xl um and then oh yeah this was a steal which was on sale i think it was like 20 bucks it's a satin scoop bralette i thought this would be really cute with one of the skirts that i bought and i also have like a satin sort of look trousers and i also have a long sleeve satin button up like cute set and it fits really well um, so I'm really happy about that. So the last thing I got from Skims was these twist cotton pants. I really want the grey ones, but every single time I go on, they're always out of stock. So the only colour they had, on, like a part of the sale, was the white, and they only had large left. Normally I would probably buy a medium and something like this because I know it's really, really stretchy. I did try it on. It was nice. It's still really comfortable. I still will wear them, but I feel like it's more of like a around the house type vibe or even. I mean, I could probably wear them on flights or something like that, but it is very see-through, um, like very see-through. And I'm wearing, I think I'm wearing like light khaki sort of undies, but yeah, quite nice. I probably will get the gray when they come back in stock in my size. So that's the three items that I got from Skims. Then I went to Cotton On. How cute is this like cargo linen skirt? Fits like pretty much the same to this skirt. So, so nice and comfortable. Oh yeah, I got all my bottoms in a size 12 for reference. And then, yeah, those singlets were a small. These skirts are a medium. So these are the skirts that I was telling you about. These are so flattering. 
like so so flattering and i'm not a skirts person so i feel like if i think these are flattering i feel like these would look good on literally everyone so this is oh i don't even know why my tag says that okay anyways maybe it was on sale i'm not sure but yeah i got this one and then i also got the satin one was that on sale oh yeah it was like three dollars off what's wrong with it oh no it doesn't say anything's wrong with it anyways yeah this is the satin version wait i think it's inside out no i mean the quality isn't like amazing but i don't know i just really like how it looks on so this is the silk one i did try them on on my tiktok so if you want to see what they look like on feel free to head over there then is this last yeah well almost then i got this maxi skirt from glassons this is the skirt that maddie was wearing um at our little friends miss lunch and i absolutely loved it it's obviously what i'm looking for going to dubai so yeah i got that and it fits really well the only thing that i don't really like about it is like this seam or this like yeah this line is quite fitted then i got the match i don't know if this is matching but she was wearing this top so i just ended up getting this one as well size 12 in this one and then i just got two plain um boob tubes because i live in them as you guys know and these are really nice like it's almost giving like a thicker version of fits everybody double lined really nice and i think they're like two for 30 or something so i got white and black okay this is the amazon top at first i was like mm, i don't like this like first impressions but now that i'm wearing it it's actually really cool i feel like it probably would look better i really want to try it so I'll insert the inspo here that I saw it on. I saw it on Instagram Reels, Sarah Ashcroft. Love her style. She's very like spa like sparkly is her vibe. Um, but yeah, I do really love it. I just feel like I'm going to try it on with a pair of leggings. I feel like I don't have any leggings that aren't active wear that are black. So maybe... Oh, do I have skims ones? Nah, they don't actually... They don't, um, they're not really compressive. I wonder if I can find any because obviously you'll be able to see like the active wear logo on the side and the front because I only really have yeah tights that are active wear um, but I'm curious to see what they look like like tight legging tight pants and then um, heels or like leather pants would look cool or mini skirt I mean maxi's still nice like I don't mind it The only downside about this top is that it was just like a one size fits all. So I feel like it probably would only be able to fit like an extra small to a large, maybe even XL, depends how tight you want it. I feel like it probably like the arms, like I only have a, like not that much room. I mean, I would say eight to 14 which is shit like you know like i probably shouldn't really be promoting something that like only a few sizes of people can wear because like i just i just can't fathom that some brands don't even go past a size 12 like i don't i don't even know how you can even make a top that's one size but then again it's amazon like it's like i, I don't really expect anything more but yeah I guess if you're wanting a top like this, I actually did see some similar on Shopo because I was actually browsing the other night and they did have some sparkly like mesh sort of tops and dresses like this, if that's what you're into. But yeah, that's the only downside. Like who does a one size fits all? Because there's nothing is one size fits all. Like, what do you mean? Okay, real quick. Here is my outfit for our little Christmas party. I'm wearing... Supre, and then this is the cotton on skirt that I showed you guys. Well, actually, you didn't see it on, but this is what it looks like on. I love it. Peep the new gift bag. So cute. It's just a sample, but yeah, I think we're going to have these on the website as well. But yeah, probably won't bring my vlog camera because it's too big for my bag, but I will 
vlog on my phone. Good morning everyone, happy Wednesday. I'm actually going to the gym this morning. I'd be lying if I said it wasn't hard to wake up, but I'm doing it. This is needed. I'm gonna make some pre-workout. This one is from Naked Harvest for those that don't know. It's my favorite one. Oh, shit, I put this away last night, but I didn't. Okay, let's make it together. I've got five minutes until I have to leave. Basically, if you don't already know about Naked Harvest Sups, they are all natural, refined, sugar-free, gluten-free, dairy-free, all the good things. Um, the one thing I do love about this pre-workout, it doesn't give you that after crash, and they freaking taste amazing. This one's definitely my favorite. Um, I definitely do have a mixture of both stim and non-stim, um, but to be honest, like, considering I don't have caffeine. The one with caffeine, which is this one, doesn't really affect me, to be honest. Um, so I'm just gonna whiz that up. This is like my favorite thing to do, even with the greens powder. Oh shit, that's gone everywhere. I've overfilled it. Okay, that'll do. This is my pre-workout. So sour, but it's so nice. I love sour lollies. Um, anyways, my code for Naked Harvest is Jazz H, and it gets you 15% off. It's also an affiliate code, so thank you if you use it. Absolutely love the pre-workout. I'm still obsessed with the, I don't know if it's back in stock yet, but the banana flavoured greens. The protein is also really good. Um and then moon milk. They're like my top four products that Naked Harvest do. So yeah, I'll leave everything down below if you guys want to try some. But yeah, this Sour Worms pre-workout is so good. I'm going to go finish this and then yeah, be on my way. I've got a stomach ache. You know, when you wake up earlier than like what you normally do and you feel like low-key sick. It's literally only like seven o'clock and that's not early. <sighs> Why do I have a stomach ache? There's Peter's alarm. Anyways, I better go. Yeah, I should be leaving right now. Okay, I'm gonna scull this. I did it. Honestly, if you just get up and do it, it's fine. It's just getting there that's cooked. I just need to keep like reminding myself that because at the time that I'm waking up, I just couldn't think of anything worse. But once I'm up, once I've had my pre-workout, like as soon as I got there, I like felt fine and ready. So I just need to have that mentality every morning to be honest, but yeah. Anyways, I am going. Guys, my literal worst nightmare came true this morning. My alarm was meant to go off at 7.30 and it didn't. But I woke up at 8.30 and it was like the alarm was going off, but there was no sound. What if I had to go to an important meeting or what if I had to catch a flight? I've missed it. I've literally missed it. Like, how can a phone glitch like that? Like it was literally as if the alarm was going off for an hour, but no sound. I'm taking my phone back because that's actually scary. I rely on my alarm so much. Oh my God. Anyways, luckily my class today, like I wanted to get up earlier to get shit done, but I can't now. I woke up at 8.30. Took me 15 minutes to get my shit together and now I'm off to boxing, which thankfully is only like five minutes away from me, but oh my God. <sighs> Anyways, my skin is just looking immaculate. So I'm happy about that. 
need to adjust the seat. Anyways, I will see you after boxing. I'm here now. Need a glove up. Get these wraps on. Which Colin does because I have no idea how to do it. We need to catch up because I have barely vlogged today. The last time I vlogged was my appointment. No. Last time I vlogged was, oh yeah, after boxing. No, my camera died while I was boxing. Anyways, so did I even show you guys my nails? Yesterday I went and got them done and I just got like basic chrome French because you can't go wrong and I just, I didn't have any inspo. Like I just didn't know what I wanted. But just then I went and got my brow lamination, which looks incredible. I just took off like the rest of my makeup. And I also got a brow, no, lash lift. Like, I've never looked fresher. I go to Alicia Jones Brow Studio here on the Gold Coast in Rabina, actually. And she's incredible. Um, but yeah, basically the whole day I was in the warehouse. We were taking some content for the new drop tomorrow, which you probably would have already seen on my Instagram. But these mini letter necklaces are launching and I am actually obsessed. So obviously every letter in both yellow gold and white gold. Um, if you do want rose gold, we can actually make that for you. You just need to email us. Um, and it usually takes about two to three weeks to get to you from when we place the order but i just wasn't sure whether to do rose gold because rose gold isn't really a popular material like i would say like white gold and gold are probably the best sellers um but yeah if you did want a custom rose gold one you can always just email us and we can make it for you that's no problem um also they do come in the one length so 14 to 16 inch we do have extenders available that you can buy online if you did want it to sit a little bit lower or if you did want to buy a necklace that is like 16 to or no 18 to 20 inch we can also make them for you as well so you can just email us and we can place a manual order in for you but for the um necklaces launching tomorrow they're all 14 to 16 inch they all have a little moissanite diamond on them as well which I just love it's just like the perfect little sparkling touch anyways i need to do my makeup for dinner with riley and our friend courtney so yeah we're going to tommy's actually and i haven't been since they opened earlier this year and i just remember it not being a good experience i have heard that the service isn't the best but like i said i did go i think it was like February like at the beginning of the year and yeah it was not a vibe there but I haven't been since so I am actually excited to try the food properly and yeah hopefully the service is a bit better anyways I need to do my makeup really quick I think Riley is going to come and pick me up because it's kind of on the way from her house and yeah I'll show you guys what I'm wearing that's probably her I'll show you guys what I'm wearing I have absolutely no idea um what I'm going to wear but I'll show you guys when I decide, but I need to stop filming because I've only got 40 minutes to get ready. So I'll talk to you later. Okay, this is the fit I think. It's just my Skims dupe dress from Beginning Boutique. Love. And then I just decided to curl my hair. Isn't that lighting's doing it much justice. Decided to give my hair a little bit of a curl. And then just really natural makeup because I can't put any, um brow product not that I need it or mascara on I just didn't really want to put anything on my lids so that is the look and then I'll probably just take my black bag and yeah I will definitely try and get a few clips there but I probably won't like fully vlog 
but I'll let you guys know how it is tomorrow anyway. So, if you ever need a pop up to an event, please. <laughs> Good morning everyone. I woke up a bit earlier today because we are dropping the mini diamond necklaces, mini diamond letter necklaces this morning at nine. So yeah, I woke up a bit earlier just so I could get some other things done before the launch. So yeah, I didn't go to the gym this morning. We ended up going to bed until like almost 1am and I don't even know why we started watching Love Island at 11pm last night anyways um yeah that's what's happening this morning hopefully there is enough um I didn't order like a whole lot just in case um but if there are certain letters that do go quick I can just pop them on pre-order and it usually takes around two weeks um, to make. So yeah, nine carat like solid gold is a quicker process than um, like gold verme or our other materials that we have. But yeah, I will definitely put them up on pre-order. And if you're, yeah, if you're wanting rose gold or any other lengths, just make sure you email me and I can make it happen. But yes, that is what's happening this morning. I think I need to film. I might film my TikTok today that I have to film for a brand. Um, what else? That's it. Oh, I got some more um, Yeezy slides just because I literally live in my brown ones. And I got, I think it's the lightest color bone. Or is it pure? I can't actually remember, but um, it's on the box anyway, so I'll show you guys later. Yeah, so I got a new pair of them uh, that arrived yesterday. And that's, oh yeah, we did go to uh, Tommy's in Corumban. And I can say that it was a much better service. Um, and the food was incredible. Um, we, me and Riley both got the eggplant parmigiana. It was so good. Um, and then we got a bunch of starters, as you saw. But yeah, it was really nice. It was such a nice night too. And we were outside upstairs, like on the balcony, which was really, really nice. So yeah. Anyways, I'm going to do what I have to do for the launch. And I will check back with you guys a bit later. Okay, I'm in the warehouse today by myself. Packing all of your orders from the little drop that we did this morning. So let's pack some together before you guys ask in the comments. My outfit is, this is so old from Glassons. I actually want to see if I can find anything similar um, to this because I love it. I love that like waffle sort of print. It's like a matching shorts set. And then I'm just wearing this. This is actually like a bra. It's a skim, the skim sculpt bra. Anyways, this is my fit. I can't get over my lashes and my brows. Love. Okay, let's pack some of these necklaces. Look how cute that is. Did he leave a message? No. So I'm just gonna attach this so he can write his own. How cute is this little hole puncher? And then he can write whatever on the back. Just attach that. Done. So cute. Okay, I'm gonna finish the rest off and I also grabbed a bunch of parcels from the post office. So I will show you guys that when I'm done. But yeah, that's all I'm getting up to today. And then tonight I'm going with Riley and Vita and Peter to Etsu. Okay, I just did my unboxing. I'll probably upload it on TikTok, but how cool is this Terry toweling set from Lorna Jane? I literally had to put it on straight away. It's very me, very summer vibes. Oh, I think Peter's here. Can you come help? <laughs> Lots of parcels. Um, yeah, very, very cute. I also got it in pink. 
This is the fit for Etsu tonight. I'm just wearing my Skims bodysuit. These are Shopo. These pleather pants. And I'm just wearing these um, like platform sort of sandals from Princess Polly. And then my jewelry is all just handmade. Coming soon. You've probably seen me wearing it on like different ropes. Like I wear it on my Camilla. Actually, it'll come as a necklace with the Camilla pearl necklace. Hello everyone. Happy Saturday. I haven't vlogged all day, but basically we just finished shopping and I actually got quite a bit. We're obviously shopping for stuff for Dubai, like little travel bits and bobs. And I got an outfit, I got a skirt. Oh, I didn't end up getting those heels. I really want some pointy heels. So I might have a look online and maybe get it next week. But um, yeah, I'll give you a haul of what I got. Also, so random. Like sometimes I bump into you guys when I'm shopping or if I'm out, sometimes not. But today, how many people did I meet? At least five. One in, what's that store called? De Jakuba, I can never say it. <laughs> One really lovely lady in Coles. Where else? <laughs> there was so many, but now I just can't remember. Oh, Coles, De Jakuba, oh yeah, the chemist. Novo? One lady said I, she thought I was taller. And that's like one of the most common things that people say to me when they meet me for the first time. They think that I'm like tall, which is so random. Like I'm quite short. I'm only 164 centimeters. Um, but yeah, a lot of people say that when they meet me for the first time, which is funny. Okay, haul time. That's better lighting. All right, so we got some Benadine sore throat gargle wash because when we're in Europe and we had sore throats, we wish we had this. Hair ties. We just got like a travel pack for toiletries. Peter got deodorant. Little baby wipes. Oh, I want to try this. Surely. So cool. Pre workout. Pre workout for a walk. <laughs> I've been seeing it everywhere. Should I try some or not? Put leggings in. <laughs> Put a hole in my leggings for my nails. <coughs> water there. I think I choked on a. That's what, for, that's what you get for buying white chocolate. <laughs> I choked on one of those um, Nuts. rice, no, the rice crisps. They just like went down the wrong hole. I um, wouldn't buy it again, but face wipes. I don't normally use face wipes, but yeah. When you're traveling, it's just so much easier. This is the body wash that I use. So I just got a travel size of it. Aveeno is the best. I just got like a smaller version of the cleanser that I use, the CeraVe one. Yeah. Oh, I forgot I bought this. Remember when I used to put them in the oven? Mems. I got another deodorant. Of course, I had to get some hand sunny. And then I actually bought a denim skirt that I've been wanting to buy for ages. Not this one, but like I haven't been able to find one. This cute, like, asymmetrical one from... How do you say that? Deck Juba. Ah, oh, Deck Juba. I'm Probably. saying De Jacuba. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably That's wrong. What it's called. I don't shop there. <laughs> I tried on the size 12, and it was a little bit big. This was really tight on, but obviously denim stretches. Then I went into Dish and got this set. Long pants, and then it came with a matching short sleeve button up. Okay, we're gonna go for a walk now. Good morning, everyone. <laughs> I just filmed a massive Princess Polly haul. I'm actually so excited to take some of these pieces to Dubai. Um, it'll be up on Instagram and TikTok, so that'll probably be up 
probably before you're watching this, but yeah, I filmed that this morning and then later on this afternoon, we're gonna have a family Christmas lunch just because we're obviously not gonna be here at Christmas because um, we're leaving on Thursday. Like, what do you mean? Also, I'm just not sure on what my uploading schedule is gonna be like. So obviously, I'm gonna try to upload as often as I can, but I just think, you know, over that time, I would probably rather um, just enjoy the moment. Like I'll obviously vlog everything. Like vlogging, the actual component of vlogging is a breeze because all you have to do is just film yourself at that time and then that's it. You put your camera down and it's all good. It's the editing that's the most fiddly and time consuming part of vlogging. So I think, it just depends just because this holiday is more of a relaxing one. So that means we'll probably get more free time. But then again, like I do obviously want to enjoy my holiday. So yeah, I'm just undecided on what I'm going to do, but most likely I will just film everything obviously. And then possibly edit there. If not, I will edit everything when I get home, which is the day before my birthday. Um, so that week will be like hectic as well. So I probably won't vlog. Uh, I probably won't be uploading when I get home. So there may be two or even three weeks where you don't see a vlog, which I don't think I've ever actually done that before in the whole six years I've been vlogging. Like, I swear I've just uploaded every single week for six years. Obviously there's been like weeks that I haven't been able to or whatever, but I'll always make up for it and upload the week after, but I just don't know. Oh my God, this is caught on my anklet. I don't know if I've ever gone like more than two weeks without uploading. So I just wanna warn you guys, but that does not mean that there won't be vlogs of Dubai because obviously I'm gonna be vlogging there. It's gonna be incredible. Um, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Um, I also have two massive plane trips, which I normally edit on anyways. I will also probably film a TikTok or like some sort of Instagram reel on the outfits that I pack because you guys really loved when I did that with, um, when I went to Europe. I just wanted to give you guys a little update. Anyways, I feel like I was just talking for about an hour just then. Thank you guys so much for watching. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, stay safe. Hope you have the best holidays ever. I will see you in my next video, which may or may not be in 2023. That's crazy. Anyways, love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching my video, supporting me this year. And yeah, I couldn't be more grateful for you guys. I wouldn't be doing this without you, etc. Okay, bye. Love you guys.